inhabited, run down, even creepy, and very photogenic. The morbid charm of the former tuberculosis sanatorium at Lake Grabo, north of Berlin, lures amateur photographers. Today, they have the chance to roam freely around a site which is usually off limits. Andreas Böttke and Thilo Wiebes of Berlin are behind the idea to offer tours of these otherwise inaccessible sites. There are rotten windows everywhere. The plaster is flaking from the walls. You get the impression that time has stood still here. This building is like Sleeping Beauty. The special atmosphere is reflected in the photos. Here you can take photos you normally wouldn't think of. Unusual perspectives. Unique images. And nobody walking through the shot. You can go where there used to be people, but where you normally wouldn't go. And when the light shines through the broken glass, it's beautiful. You can see where time has been eating at the building, at its interior. And that makes for really fantastic pictures. From the late 19th century, the sanatorium outside Berlin treated wealthy tuberculosis patients. During the Cold War, it was a Soviet military hospital, a place filled with the traces of history. We've built up a pretty huge archive of places like this. We went to all of them, looked them over, took photos, did research and archived them. Visiting these places is so interesting and we want to open them for other people. Another fascinating and normally closed off area is the Spree Park in southeast Berlin. Once the only amusement park in the former communist east, it's been closed for nine years. Fewer and fewer people came after the fall of the wall, and no investors stepped forward. For me, it's a feeling that takes me back to my past. My grandma used to take me by the hand through the park, or I won topless Samantha Fox stickers at the shooting gallery. The atmosphere is completely different now. Today it's about the power of nature, reclaiming something which used to be dedicated to pure enjoyment. The roller coaster hasn't run in a long time, but it's one of the main attractions for the amateur photographers. The rusty tracks or the overgrown tunnel are exactly the images the visitors are looking for. It's a surreal place with all these ruins of, well, leisure architecture and all the scenery. It's great scenery and adventure playground. I think these pictures will be really interesting in 20 to 30 years because by then all these places will be gone. Whether motivated by historical interest or the desire for an unusual image, the visits are legal. Andreas Böttke and Thilo Wiebes get permits to visit their special secret places. And they have plenty of plans for the future. We'd like to offer tours further afield, places which are known throughout the world, like the Cosmodrome in Baikonur, or Pripyat, the deserted city in Chernobyl. These are things we're interested in, and we think people would like to go there. In any case, the tours in Berlin are very popular and can be booked until the end of October by adventurous souls looking for that special picture off the beaten track.